Okay, here's page two of your mock or practice midterm relative major and minor for the following keys. So A minor is the same scale or key signature as C major, right? You go down to note number six. E minor, well, you build an E minor triad, E, G, B, right? And then that's going to be the relative major. They have the same key signature. Remember, we're not talking about scales. I mean, chords, we're talking about scales and keys. B flat major, go down two notes in the scale, will be G minor. A major, go down two notes in the scale, that will be F sharp minor, right? Because A has F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp, so when you get down to the F, it's going to be sharp. D sharp minor, well, build yourself a D sharp minor triad, and that's your relative major right there. It's going to be everything is sharp except for B. All right, we're not doing the rhythms. We'll do that on the final because we're going to learn chapter two in the weeks to come here. Triads and seventh chord theory. These questions could be different on your midterm, but they're the same kind of questions. Now, what that means is that if you know these ones, but you don't know how to convert the other chords, if you get another, even if you do this perfectly, but you're not sure how to convert a different chord to something else or the anatomy of something, you could still get it 100% wrong. Well, my cat is in the neighborhood and crying. We're just going to work through that. A half diminished chord has a diminished triad and a minor seventh. That's from the table. To change a minor triad into a diminished triad, one should lower flat arrow down, right? The fifth of the chord. Okay? A dominant chord has a major triad and a minor seventh. Now here's what I meant. Like you might know that, but what if I said a major seven chord has a, and if you didn't know that, even if you knew the dominant, you know, you know the kind of question it is, but it's, it's the information you know it or you don't. But this is all about the tables and manipulating that. A diminished seven chord, a diminished seventh, sorry, is how many half steps down from the root of the chord? Down. You go three half steps down, right? Which is nine half steps up. All right. Chords. Chords. Well, this is combining your note reading and your knowledge of this stuff to identify these things. It says identify the following seven chords, label the root, and choose major seven, minor seven. So you're just saying what chord this is, including the quality. I'm going to do this the long way because uh, I think it's good to keep it out of your brain. You can do this lots of different ways, but I'm going to label all the notes here. And I'm just going to go through. A chords are A, C, E, G. Close, but not quite. F chords are F, A, C, D, very close, F, A, C, and, sorry, E, not D, so it doesn't match. D chords are D, F, A, and C, that is correct. So this is a D chord, not C, E, G either. D, F sharp, A is a major triad, and C is a minor seventh, so this is a D. And since I'm asking for it right there, let's uh, write it in the entire way, dominant seventh, okay? Here I have a G, I have a B flat, I have an F, and I have a D. Right? Is it a G chord? G, B, D, F? It is a G chord. G chords are dominant seven chords to begin with, but now this has a G, B flat, D, so it's a minor triad and a minor seventh. Right? So this is going to be G minor seventh right there. This chord right here is a B flat, a D, an F, and an A. Right? You can go in any direction you want, A, C, E, G, F, A, C, E, and then D, F, A, C, close, but not quite, right? B, D, F, A. It's a B chord. It's a B flat chord. Now, B flat, D, F makes a major triad, and A is a half step below, which is a major seventh. Major triad, major seventh is a major seventh chord, right? Okay. Here, I've got an E flat. I've got an F sharp got an A and I've got a C. E, G, B, D? Nope. F, A, C, E? Yes. F, A, C, E. Okay. Now, F sharp, A, and C is a diminished triad. So this is either going to be diminished or half diminished. And I have to look and say, well, what is that? And if I go down from there, it's three half steps. So that's a diminished seventh. So diminished triad, diminished seventh is going to be an F sharp, fully diminished or just diminished seventh. Here we go with this. We've got a B flat, I got a D, I got an E, and I got a G. B 
BDFA, nope, DFAC, no, EGBD, yes, right? So EGB flat is a diminished chord, and then the D is a whole step below there. So diminished triad minor seventh is a half diminished chord. So I'm gonna go E 